receiving and giving praise is a little bit different in Japan. Hello, my name is Greg Story. I'm the president of Dale Kennedy Training and the best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery. We're coming to you from our high performance center here in Akasaki Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. And this is, I think, maybe number 23 in our series on doing business in Japan. And today I'm talking about praise. So when you get to Japan or you're dealing with Japanese people, they will often praise you. And actually it's more on the flattery side, I would say. So they'll say things like, you speak a little bit of Japanese and they, they say, oh, your Japanese is so good. Or you're eating with chopsticks in the restaurant uh, and they go, oh, you use chopsticks so well. Well, it's pure, unadulterated flattery. Do not believe a word of it, but that's how it works in Japan. It's a, it's a culture that's worked out how can we have harmony in a very densely populated country with people living on top of each other for centuries, smooth the edges out through praise and, and basically flattery in this sense. And it's right through the culture. I mean, they do it with each other all the time. So, you know, that's just how it works here. And of course, we have similar things in our own cultures. It's not that different. No, for example, you know, as an Australian, I'm always fascinated by America. And uh, I meet Americans in business, might be a networking event, I meet someone for the very first time. And they then introduce me to someone they know, and they say, oh, um, please meet Greg Story, my very good friend. And I'm flummoxed when I hear that, like, my very good friend, we've only just met. But that's being polite. And it reminds me, you know, Winston Churchill said, uh, UK actually, England and America, uh, two countries separated by a common language. Well, it's a bit of a similar thing, I guess, with America and Australia. Different culture, Australia, very cynical. You'd never dream of doing that. And so it becomes a bit of a problem on the receiving end of praise. When people praise you, you know, no, 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 that's not true, no, no, no. Don't be like that with Japanese. If they praise you, just say, well, thank you very much. Don't believe a word of it, but be polite and accept the praise. Well, thank you, thank you for saying that, and just move on. Now, on the reverse side, because this sort of praise flattery thing is going on here all the time, if you want to praise someone, don't do the flattery route because no one here believes that either. <laughs> you know, it's like a, a commonly held <laughs> disbelief in each other when it comes to praise. But you could be effective in praise by going a little bit more specific. So whether it's in, in meetings or are we within your, your team, your Japanese staff or with the buyer or whatever, if they do something you want to recognize, then be very specific about what you're recognizing. It's no good saying, well, well thank you, Mrs. Suzuki, that was, that was great what you did with the logistics. Too vague, too vague. You should say, Suzuki-san, thank you very much. That job you did with the logistics was great. You got me the information right at the right time and I was able to pass that information on to the factory so we're always going to be right on time for our delivery and all of our supply chain is going to be very, very happy thanks to you. Really appreciate that. So Suzuki-san, this is what you did that was good and we appreciate that and thank you. That's not, that's not flattery. That's actually praise. Or if it's in the company, you've got people working for you, you know, good job, well done, that's great. No, too vague doesn't work. Well, well, good job. I'm doing lots of jobs. You know, which part of the job was good? Well, what are you talking about? So it's better to say, ah, Sik son, thank you very much. In that meeting, you came up with an idea. You had an insight there from your discussions with clients. I thought that was really valuable. And we're going to take that insight and we're going to change what we're doing to really make sure we get more market share and get a better share of wallet with our clients thanks to your insight. Thank you very much, that was great. And if you have any more insights like that, most welcome, thank you. Please share those with us. That was really great, we appreciate it. So again, particularly with staff, what was good? The insight was good. It's gonna to help to get market share, help you get share of wallet. It's something they'd like to see repeated. Please do that again, that was great, that really helped. Please keep doing that, thank you very much. So little formulas like that, when you're wanting to give out praise in Japan or anywhere else, very effective because whether you're Japanese who are sort of used to lots of flattery and therefore they just dismiss it completely, you can actually break through. You can actually recognize someone and praise them for real. And when you're in a country of lots of flattery, real praise stands out. So you can be very effective. Now, when it's coming your way, hey, your chopsticks handling ain't that great. Your Japanese 
ain't that great either, unless you're a really fluent speaker. And even then, it's difficult here. When I first came here in 1979, January, what was it? April 1, 1979, spoke no Japanese. I studied Japanese at uh, Sophia University, George University. I started to get some, some small degree of ability. I get in a taxi. Taxi driver say, oh, anata no hongo wa jōsu desu ne, your Japanese is so good. You know, I spent four years here, did a master's degree here, went home, you know, leaving Japan, get in a cab, uh, tell him where to go, oh, anata no hongo wa jōsu desu ne, your, your Japanese is so good. When I had zero Japanese and I had a lot of Japanese, reaction was exactly the same, so it's all just flattery. So that sort of brings home the point that you don't have to be in the flattery business. Accept it politely. But when you're handing it out, you can really cut through. And people really register the praise that you give them. And that is very effective in this country.